What's up, y'all? Tough Thumbs here. Uh, sorry I didn't make a video yesterday, guys. I was out grinding knives with my new grinder that I'm getting. Uh, thanks to my buddy John. Um, it's not here yet. Uh, I basically was getting a lesson. Uh, he needs to get his uh, new one first, but soon enough, you know, I'll be doing knives left and right. I'm going to start with titanium neckers, so hopefully that's what I'm planning. But uh, first off, guys, I don't know if anybody noticed in the video, the last video I said, you know, I was selling this S30V uh, Spyderco Woodcraft. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking 120 on it. I mean, I put a lot of work into it. It's got the toxic liners and uh, the multicam Anzo pattern in there. And the scales are removable, but very strong. It's a great knife. I just need some cash because my car needs to be inspected and uh, PayPal screwed me some bank transfer crap. Oh yeah, the sheath sucks by the way. But uh, yeah, anyway, PM me if you want that. I'm just saying that again because I don't think anybody saw that quick little whatever when I, in the last video. But uh, getting to it, as you can see I got four knives. That's a, it's a new record for uh, showing in a video I think. Um, I'm just going to go with no order really. I'm just going to go with whatever. This is my favorite, so this paramilitary is really sick, so I'm going to save that one for last. Um, first up, we'll get the glow crap out of the way. Uh, now we got the Kershaw Needs Work with the Jade Ghost Green. Definitely a worthy knife of scales. Uh, the scales that come on this thing are just terrible. They're hideous. Uh, if you can find the G10 version, I'd recommend that, unless you want the uh, Alien vs. Predator scales. Uh, but you got the Jade Ghost Green. You can see that milling inside there, it's kind of funny looking. It's very light. <laughs> it's like someone's giving you a middle finger through there. Anyway, uh, this, this is for my buddy uh, Andrew. Good guy. You can be seeing a lot from his stuff this week. Oh, yeah, this also. Got a need work, needs work, it's got the, uh, the glow. It glows pretty bright. I don't, every time I turn off the light and turn it back on, uh, it sometimes messes up my camera. I don't know why, it's a pretty new camera, you think it'd be able to handle stuff like that. But um, And kind of as a, as a little nod to the knife, I left some areas out, and it almost looks like it needs work. Uh, that's right. But I can change that to, to look uniform, but I thought it was kind of cool. They kind of shave up here, and it doesn't, it doesn't glow right there. And it comes back like just right in the finger twirls. Yeah, it's very, 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 very comfortable. Especially now, it doesn't have all that crap on the handle. But uh, that's the knees work. Very cool. Very good color on here. Interesting. Love this knife, by the way. Very good user. Um, next up, also for Andrew here, we got a very, very popular knife. Kershaw Skyline. Uh, we got the blue and carbon fiber crater pattern. It's all nice and shiny right now. Uh, I just finished this one, so it might be a little tight when I'm flipping it. Yeah, I need to need to lube it and uh, and uh, loosen the pivot just the slightest, slightest bit. But uh, sorry, I was looking for something. Uh, the backspacer, I'm. Changed the size of it, made it a little bit smaller. Uh, so it's got this solid, it looks like a solid piece. But it's, it's, you can't see it, but it's striped. It's kind of like the tiger stripe stuff. It looks very nice. Polished up the liner all the way around. So it's nice and sexy. Oh, sorry, I love this part. It just kicks ass. Alright, so that's the Kershaw Skyline. Alright, now the epic journey that is the Benchmade Grip Jillian. Oh, I've had this thing for so long. Um, finished up. I'm not completely 100% happy with it, but I figured out why I had such a hard time making it. Uh, basically using crappy tools when I first started. I actually had this knife since I started, pretty much. Uh, 
I gotta give it to the guy, uh, uh, Fred, who uh, owns it. Been very patient with me and actually kind of just let me keep it just to, um, you know, see if I could do it pretty much. And uh, so this has been a long time coming here and uh, I figured it out and I can do Griptilians, guys. I'm going to tell you the weight might be longer, but so this is the, this is a Doug Ritter. Very nice knife. So you got the tiger stripe. With the Anzo pattern. This was very difficult. The solid piece, uh, very similar to the original scales, uh, but you know it works. That's all that matters. It, you know, it functions. There's no no blade play. It's, you know, there's a little. I still need to touch this thing up, but it's got to go pretty soon. So, figured I'd show you guys. And on the inside, see it's just solid in there. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Hey. So bright there, flashlight. Thank you. So I basically put my own pillars in there, or and uh, basically reconstructed one side of the knife. Uh, it was a very difficult job, but uh, now that I've been doing this for a while, um, next time I do one of these, and uh, you know I will do them. Uh, I will not be smiling about it, but I, <laughs> I will do them. But I think basically if I do a couple more, I'll figure it out and I won't have any problems. But it feels nice with the tiger stripe on there. Uh, it just needs a little bit of polishing going on here. Got a little spot right there. Goop. I don't know what that is. But uh, there is a Doug Britter bench made group tillion. Uh, I like it. It's been a while since we've seen any uh, orange and black tiger stripe. So moving on to my favorite of the evening. I like them all, but this one it's not nothing it's nothing new really, but it's something that's not been done on this paramilitary. You guys have seen the carbon fiber a million times on here. But this one has no pattern, it's smooth. And I gotta say, it is just it, it's it's supposed to be like this. It's gorgeous. Yes, high polished smooth carbon fiber I made a mistake by making this because I know I'm gonna get bombarded but this thing is so sick if you guys have been thinking about getting the carbon fiber on this thing oh it's gorgeous the black blade too and this is also Fred's and I uh, took a extra care uh, to make sure this one was really nice and polished and just really really sexy yeah, you see that nice polish on there. This thing is fucking metal as hell. It's just pretty hardcore looking. I'd imagine uh, the devil would carry this knife. No, I'm kidding. That's so cool though. Just the way it's contoured is, you know, there's such a great grip on the paramilitary too. This is just even So nice looking. So I don't get in trouble. I'm listening to Emu Burger. I don't know, some like Viking music, but it's cool. I'm sorry, this thing is just so freaking sweet. 
And uh, I got some news, guys. I talked to Kevin from Blade Forums, Sparks. Uh, and uh, he's agreed to uh, possibly, it's a big if, but possibly get me back on Blade Forums. Uh, you know, after some talking uh, and like going over what happened. And if anybody's wondering what happened, uh, what happened was I had been a member for years, a but not a paying member. I, you know, before I was doing this, guys, I would get laid off like all the time for my jobs. It's really, really tough to find work in Philadelphia. So I didn't have much money. So the last, the furthest thing from my mind was getting a membership to Blade Forums. I just went on there to blow off steam and just enjoy my hobby and look at stuff and say stuff. And you know, I have one of the one of the highest viewed posts in the general general discussion area, uh, the uh, customized production knives. See, I've contributed somewhat, and I've you know given criticism and reviews and sold stuff. Well, not sold stuff, but traded a lot. Had all positive feedback. Basically, I I uh, got a little too excited about pimping knives, and I showed my work, and I gave a link just for people to to take a look at more of it. And there's nothing for sale on the site, you know. Obviously, I do do it, but I never mentioned it. It was all just, hey guys, check out my work. If you want to see more, just because I love looking at knives, and I know you do, check it out. And understandably, it was taken as advertisement. And uh, I went to get a membership, and because uh, I was, you know, one of the moderators told me I need a membership, so I went to get it, and before I could even do it, uh, I was banned. And then I've been basically trying to get back on since, and uh, they're very nice, very understanding. Uh, it's just debate on whether, you know, it would they would lose credibility letting me back on there, but I've just been a little pissed because I've been lumped in with the people that deserve to be banned for bad things. Like, I deserve to be banned for breaking rules, but, you know, there was a lot more to it, but basically it was bad communication. Um, and, you know, just not being able to speak to people, like, face to face, but, you know, I have no ill feelings towards anybody on there except for one guy who keeps bashing me. Every day I hear people telling me how he's telling people not to go with my work and that I'm not trustworthy and blah, blah, blah. I'm not complaining right now, guys. I'm just explaining for the people that who have asked me. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me why I was banned. And uh, there's nothing I did like that was malicious or you know would cause any harm to anybody on there in any way. Uh, I didn't steal anything. It was just uh, basically a stupid error in judgment and... Uh, on my part, I, my intentions were good, but whether my intentions were good or not, it doesn't matter. I did something wrong uh, by a, by advertising. I mean, what I did technically was advertising, but it's not what I meant to do. But you know, I can see where they are coming from. But you know, I'm losing business because of some people on there. But you know, you guys see something like that, tell them to shut up. <laughs> But anyway, that's enough of my bullshit rant. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not complaining. I'm very happy right now, whether I get on there or not. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to share that with you so nobody asked me any more questions about it and nobody got in the wrong idea of, you know, why I got banned. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed these. They're very sexy. Nice color variety here, but this is just my favorite pair of military yet. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, have a great day tomorrow. I know I will. I'm getting a new knife, and it is sweet. And you'll see a review, and I'm going to be the only one who's reviewed it yet. So, later.